what's he gonna do? If he comes for me, that should be Desert Mountain for you. Desert Mountain will reduce the uh, the width of everything by 50%, which means my cannons work to full effect, and I have plenty of backup for it. Jake, split your stack in Castile. It's better to reinforce than battle with a huge stack. Well, we'll soon find out. Now, we're fighting on Desert Mountain, so yeah, we get the benefit here. But over the course of the battle, unless I get some killer rolls... We've evened out the shock bonus, and it gives me a two advantage on fire. And he's got an inefficient amount of cannon. No, no he doesn't. But his cannons on the back row are a bit damaged, whereas mine are f fully functional. It's a good, good bonus on my part. Let's see how this battle rolls out. Yeah, I need pretty much all my rolls to be that good. Oh. Well, if anyone hasn't seen it before, we've got a uh, a nice little workaround for this event. Drinks what little of my manpower remains, but if we just recruit a few thousand and then take the event, we don't lose all our manpower. Mind you, we're already out of it. We're about equal on reserves, so that's okay. But as long as he doesn't keep rolling those uh, pretty sweet rolls. going to plan at all. He's still got eight, nine thousand in reserves. I've only got five thousand in reserves. Unless I pull something out of the hat here, it's victory for Castile. And that is something out of the hat. We've got some cannons on the front. That doesn't bode well. Yeah, he wins. He most assuredly wins. He's still cannon reserve. Right. Unlucky. Whew. Just can't win them all. Or in my case right now, can't win any. But where would the fun be if you won all the time? Riddle me that. Uh, Judea. Oh, Judea, no Judea. is beyond horrible for my manpower. Jake, pay down your war exhaustion. That's a pretty good idea. Those nationalists can stay. As long as this is all of the Mali land, I'll have 100% when these siege out. I can assist that siege out.
forget Castile. It's uh, quite clear I need to mount my forces up before attacking them. I can't do a quick kill with 50,000. I'm being told to build more mercs, but I think I'll pass. In fact, it's clear that uh, I'm not going to be able to breach into Castile anymore, so I'll dismiss those mercs, costing me an arm and a leg as it is. We'll take Timbuktu, and we'll be able to route our trade through. This is, after all, a boring trade game. Finish up, uh, figure out how to route all that trade through the. Now, a man are in the coalition war against me. If I fought a man, they bring in the Ottomans and Aragon. I still need to finish off the Ottomans. But really, I should focus on my trade groove for a while before expanding my borders anymore. Manpower. That event pretty much kept me kept me afloat towards the end of Ryukyu World Conquest. Whew. One more, and it should be 100% in this war. So you folks can get up to Timbuktu. Poor show by me. Anyway, that's 100% in this war. Um, you know what? I could take something else. I could take Valencia. It would just take a lot more men. Maybe Valencia is the wrong thing to think about. But I could take a province off of Castile. I would just need to blitz it. On the other hand, I don't want to get greedy here. Not when I'm taking all this gold, right? Mm, yeah, the more I think about it, the less I want that gold. How am I doing on gold? Trade goods. Grain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. And if I took a bit of Siberia, if there's any left, which there isn't, I'll get that one in the end as well. All right, that's what we'll do then. Victory. The worst victory. I should feel bad for that war, and I do. You two up there. Yeah. Ah, yeah, 
That was awful. That was beyond awful. But we've got plenty of money now. We are not too bad on the force limit. And now I can route trade through Timbuktu because we have lots of power there. So we want to transfer your power and yeah, you're pretty much spare. We'll use the Crimea guy to transfer power as well. Did I pull someone that I didn't want to pull there? Everybody wins. Still, <laughs> Savella's uh, not really looking all that great. It's only worth 78 ducats. I could be doing a lot better than that. And if I want to do a lot better, I'm going to need a lot more ships. Let our manpower regrow and build a ton of Carvels. Carvels? Now if I get a couple of bits of tech, I can get early frigates. How good are they? Doesn't want to say it, but I bet they're better. Continue protecting the trade of Ivory Coast. spare and you could go yeah we never have enough going in Ragusa Interestingly enough, this one province right here, Anaba, doesn't count as distant overseas because it's close enough to my capital. Oh, that state needs some money. Animist zealots? No, no, you don't want me. Keep moving, guy. A lot of that 77 is going to Castile, you're right, it is. But if I send a ton of my ships there, then I should still be okay in my PP. In fact, you privateer and twerpen instead. See if that helps us out. No longer getting the bonus from Castile, but 20, 20, 30. Still gets me 70, 85. I can handle that. Which means I need a lot of ships to help us out here. A lot of ships. Do I wait for the tech? Do I wait a year? Yeah, it's only a year. During that time, we can get our claims back on the Ottoman since. Yeah. They've finally moved their capital, and it is just where we want it to be. Yeah, now that's distant overseas. Whew. Shake should give in to animist demands. How cute, how quaint, but no thanks. 
Oh, we're so close to losing the bonus for having 25 princes in the HRE. And we have to bust Austria up one. But that'll be easier said than done, as with most things. Because they're allied with everyone and their mother. Get the Gaza Strip. Jake, well, when will you continue your road to Cathedral in Mecca? About now. Hmm, I have overextension. Oh yeah, Timbuktu. Of course. We'll keep in line with the... Uh... Oh, that's right, you've got to be added to... Oh, thank goodness the, the charter ends there. Thought there was something wrong with Timbuktu there. No. Mm, two buildings. Two trade buildings. Jake, let us see converted Constantinople. Yeah, sure thing. Also, God, that isn't pretty. If we lose Imperial uh, integrity, then we get revolt risk in a whole bunch of places that we don't want it. Here we go. Catholic Constantinople. It's Turkish, 15 base tax. It's also got a road network, just what the doctor asked for. Okay, I can kind of sit back and chill at speed 4. Whilst I wonder how Hoskawa managed to get all of that. Time for a theologian, but I'm still converting. Need that missionary strength, hombre. Galleon. Yeah, maybe I'll build a few galleons. What I want, though, is to be able to connect my lands to Africa. That means taking two provinces off of Austria and all of Austria's friends. Oh, I'll find my time to beat Austria. For now, I can just kind of sit back, speed five it even. That's okay. As time goes on, I'm less concerned about my lack of power in Sevilla. I will want Lisboa and Porto, no doubt. I'll get them back for Portugal. Does that mean you still guarantee Mali? No, you're straight up allied now. 50 dip. I don't have 50 dip to give. Oh well. Jake, did you count Kilwa when you counted your gold? Um, did I say I was going to take the gold here? I can't take Kilwa's capital though. But I'm fairly certain fairly certain I'm be at nine provinces when I annex Mutapa. And I'll annex Mutapa. I need some troops to dedicate there. Mind you, you guys. The revolt risk ended there long ago. Denmark is colonizing? Should I be frightened? Delighted? They've got expansion. Well, good on you. No, really, Portugal. Just, uh, just be frank with me. You're not thinking on colonizing, are you? That's right. You're not. 
I'll feel a bit more comfortable once Sierra Leone has been cut off from you, though. <laughs> you must look at Portuguese uh, Brazil and Rio de Prata and think, oh. I suppose part of the lack of princes is my fault for unifying Italy, but it's equally your fault, Austria. I look forward to putting you in your place, but that might have to wait a wee while. Particularly when I get manpower and force limit. I think that's Mali's province. No, Castile's. See, why, why would I take that instead of that? There must be a reason for it. But I cannot fathom the reason. Malabar. I'm afraid I'm uninterested. Yeah, but see, that gives Cochin five revolt risks that it could really do without. All these merchants I have keep dying, though, and that works for me. get that claim on you, Serbia? I think I did. But what I really want is the next dip tech. Jake, when you accept that claim, you get another crappy event if you don't take it within X years. No, I think that's another event. I think that's another event. I hope so. Inquisitor's dead. Let's get him back very important for all these conversions. Alright, Timbuktu, get. Twenty forty, that makes no sense. Take this 20 stack, stick it there, figure out what to do with you later. Or just keep it there. Take the two, stick them there, figure out what to do with them later. Take the 20 20 and get them over here. Adana. those conversions happening. Uh, yeah, more claims on the Ottomans, that's what I'm missing out on. Gotta get those ducats. Gotta get that connection to get those ducats. Aleppo's a big one, Caraman's fairly big as well. Six base tax big. Man's still allied with the Ottomans. But we'll take care of you. Such a shame that the Papal State didn't spawn somewhere that would hate uh, Austria, because then I'd be able to excommunicate them quite simply. folks over there. Neutral, neutral, huh? Right, Serbia, I've had it with you. Now I could, uh around you. That would work. And I also really want that next uh, next military tech, uh, next admin uh, <laughs> brain's going to mush but I have been streaming for something like 11 hours so there we go. 
Now I'm going to need a lot more frigates here. And it's 0.5 more than the other one, so that's something to keep in mind. I wonder if I'm going to crash EU3 if I do this. Uh, EU4. Heavens knows why this is a laggy screen, though. Now it's time for some pretty big trading. And for pretty big trading, you need a pretty big fleet, funnily enough. <laughs> 